Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 2 of SQL Server FAQs. In this video, we will discuss about what is the difference between .mdf file and .ldf file in SQL Server. So, here MDF means master data file, LDF means log data file. So, actually, in SQL Server, whenever we try to create a new database, whenever we try to create a new database, internally two files will be created. One is .mdf, other one is .ldf. Let us say I will try to create one database here. Create database. The name of the database I will give as D2. Some database I will create. Press F5. Now my database is created successfully. Now here you go to the object explorer. Go to view object explorer. Right click on databases. Refresh. Now here you see one new database is created with name D2. If you want to see the structure of the database, you can see sp underscore help db space database name d2 this query will display the structure of the database that is the database name is d2 the database size the memory that was occupied for this database is 1.74 mb and the owner of the database is sa system admin and the database id is 23 there are nearly 22 uh, previous database server this is 23rd database and this database was created on november 5th 2016 actually now only i created the database and here you see, when you observe clearly here, two files are available. Here you see one is um, called as primary data file. This is called as .mdf file and the other one is uh, secondary data file which is called as .ldf file. Here you see two files are created. One is .mdf, other one is .ldf. Master data file, log data file. And this file is located in where? C drive, program files, Microsoft SQL server. MS SQL 10 point MS SQL server, MS SQL data folder, there you can find one file with name .mdf and .ldf. So internally where your database is saved means this database is saved in the form of what? Two files are created actually. One is .mdf, other one is .ldf. If you want you can go and check. Go to my computer, there you can go to C drive, there you can go to program files, there you can find Microsoft SQL server. There you can find MS SQL 10 point MS SQL server. There you can find MS SQL. There you can find one folder with name data. Open that folder. Here you see for every database two files are created. The databases that are available in your SQL server for each and every database if you observe two files are created. One is master data file, other one is log data file. Call is db master data file dot ldf dot mdf dot ldf. So we have created one database with name D2. For our database also two files are created. One is dot mdf. That is here you see the name if you want. This is a SQL Server database primary data file. And this is database transaction log file. Is it clear? If you want you can see right click go to properties. Here you can see the details. Then you can see the name of that file. This is dot uh, primary data file. This is extension is dot mdf master data file. And here you right click go to properties, here you can see the details, here you see this the transaction log file or log data file. Actually we already know that in SQL server the data will be stored in the form of table. But actually internally once on the database is created, again your data is stored in the form of a file that is master data file. So master data file, here you see the difference between these two files. First of all, MDF is master data file, LDF is log data file. MDF is, you can call as primary data file, LDF you can call as secondary data file or you can simply call as transaction log file. MDF file actually, it will store the actual data. It will store the actual data and whatever the data that you stored in the database in the form of table, uh, your actual data is stored in where MDF file. And it will be storing the primary information of the database, like uh, the information about the uh, data files, the, the tables, and the entire information of the database is stored. Um, for example, MDFs are where all the database information is stored, like it contains the rows, columns, fields, and data created by an application of the user. This is the modification that we have done to this database. The actual data is stored in MDF file. Is it clear? LDF file means log database file and during various creation modification of the database whenever we do any modification in the database these all modification information the transaction means each and every transaction information is stored in where dot LDF file. 
Transaction means what is a portion of work or a small amount of work that has been work done. Whenever you do each and every time, if you insert a record in the database, that is called one transaction. If you delete the record from the database, that is one transaction. If you update the record, that is one transaction. What are the transaction we have done? All these each and every transaction information is stored in dot LDF file. Is it clear? So dot MDF file can maintain or change in file size depending on the actual changes. So as dot MDF file comes of the actual data, it will occupy uh, less memory compared with LDF file. As LDF file is used to store what the transaction data. Whenever you do multiple transactions with what database, this all transaction information is stored in where dot LDF file. And here actually. Uh, the main advantage of LDF file is whenever unfortunately the database will crash in that case we can restore what the data the transaction data and everything we can directly reuse from LDF file is it clear and uh, uh, these two files are uh, uh, helpful to create what to take the to restore the database for example here you see what I will do I will try to go to my data folder here you see D2 this is MDF and this is dot LDF file. So what I will do or else let us see here I have one database with name what uh, travel biz. Here I have one database with name travel biz having lot of tables are there in this particular database. So backgroundly for this database two files are available under data folder. One is dot MDF other one is dot LDF. So here you see this is travel biz. This is dot LD MDF. This is dot LDF. Now what I will do I will try to stop the server right click stop your SQL server because whenever you want to copy the whenever you want to what copy this dot uh, MDF and LDF file I will try to stop the server copy and I will try to go to my computer or else here I will try to go to my desktop and uh, here right click and here I will try to create a new folder and rename the folder as uh, backup DB backup DB I want to uh, save these two files here dot mdf as well as dot ldf files in my folder now if anybody wants to restore this database in any other system or you can directly restore by using mdf and ldf let us see how to restore that one so what I will try to do I will try to delete these two files I will try to delete these two files from my where uh, data folder now I will try to go to my SQL server uh, here you see I'll try to uh, again start the server. Right click, start the server. Is it clear? So here my server is started. Now I'll try to open my management studio. I'll try to go to 2008 SQL Server Management Studio. So here I'll go to the databases. There you see travel beach databases not available. Refresh. Here you see. Go to the database and check. Travel biz is there, but as a deleted what the dot um, MDF file and what LDF file. So right click, I'll try to what delete this one. And here you see close the existing connections. Click on OK. Now my database is deleted. Now what I will do as a developer, I will try to copy these two files dot MDF and LDF file, and you can restore these two files. Now how to restore these two files? Let us see. I'll try to copy these two files, Control C, and I'll try to go to data folder. Go to my computer, and there you can see C drive. There you can find program files. There you can find Microsoft SQL Server. There you can find MS SQL. There you can find data. And I'll try to paste these two files here. Then you have to paste these two files in your um, in your local machine. Are you following? Actually, I am creating one database in my machine. And in this machine, I will copy dot MDF and LDF file. Now you take these two files in your pen drive or CD or any other way and you can restore this database in another machine. And I am showing you that one. So how to attach the database through MDF and LDF. So right click on databases and here you see attach. I want to attach the database. So click on what add and here you go to where. Um, travel biz dot MDF. We can attach only MDF file. We cannot attach LDF file. So here you see travel biz dot MDF. Click on what? Okay. Now here you just click on what? Okay button. Is it clear now?
you will just click on OK. Then here you see, right click on databases. Here one database is created with name what? Travel base. This is our database. Open and tables. So this is how we can restore what? Database by using dot MDF and LDF. I hope you understood. So here I have given the differences between dot MDF and LDF. Dot MDF is master data file which is used to store the actual data. Dot LDF file is transaction log file which is used to maintain the transaction data. Is it clear? So for more videos you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. In the next video we will discuss some other concepts. Thank you. Have a nice day.